Hey fellow gearheads, how is it going? My name is Daniel and you are watching All Geared Up. Today I am going to review a microphone. And you guessed right, it is this tiny lavalier microphone by a brand called Buya. Buya recently got quite known, so to speak, in the entry level or lower budget market. So let's talk about why I got interested in this microphone. This microphone has a 3.5 millimeter jack, but it is a TSSR, which means a three pin connector, which allows you to connect it to your smartphone and your tablet and your notebook. So what's the special thing about it is, it comes with a battery compartment with a switch on it, which allows you to switch it into camera mode and record straight into your camera. I did not record into my camera today because I want to do a comparison to the studio microphone I'm using here and it goes straight into my interface. I could record into my phone, I could record into my camera, but we all know the amplifier is also an important factor when it comes to quality and I did not want to diminish the quality or sacrifice any quality. I just want to know how good can it actually perform. So before we get into actually listening to the microphone, I wanted to take a second and talk about the most annoying feature of this microphone. And it is the ultra long cable. I understand it is meant to plug into your camera when the camera is far away. But when I am using this microphone, I intend to use it to record into my phone, which then will be down in my pocket, or I would be recording into a tiny pocket recorder like the Zoom H1, which then also would go into my pocket. So I really, I really, really, really wished for the company to have an option to go with shorter cable and the same features. So now let's get into actually listening to the microphone. But before we do that, let's think about what we're trying to evaluate here. When comparing microphones, uh, we have to take into account how they are built, what pickup pattern they have, and in which situations they are meant to be used in. So when we switch now to this microphone, you're definitely going to hear a difference. And it is due to the quality and the pickup pattern and uh, the intended use, basically. While I was recording with the studio microphone, you will hear much more clarity, um, much more precise references in the high end, better response in low end and so on. So let's talk about this microphone and how it actually performs. So let's talk about the pickup pattern. This microphone is an omnidirectional microphone, which means it is equally sensitive to all sides of the microphone, to the sides, to the top, to the bottom, all the way around. Compared to like a shotgun microphone, I can now put this microphone to my lapel and move my head around and will still pick up equally. And then let's talk about how this microphone is intended to use. It is meant to record voice and voice only or mainly voice. Um, in comparison to the other microphone I was using in this video, you will notice it has less clarity. It has less precise uh, response in the high end. It is a little bit rough in the low end, which is a good thing for voices because our voice mainly lies in the mid range frequencies. The other advantage of recording more of the mid frequencies is it cuts out a lot of the rumble and a lot of the high frequencies, which is beneficial when you're actually outside because a lot of high frequencies of traffic and so on will be in the high frequencies. So as a conclusion, you could hear the audio quality is not the greatest, but it is actually quite usable for such a low priced microphone. And when I'm thinking about just taking one microphone with me, chances are I'm going to be picking this microphone because of its flexibility. I can record in whatever I have with me, be it my phone, be it my laptop, be it my camera, be it an external recorder. And that's what makes this microphone so valuable to me. Overall, it is a decent microphone. It gets the job done and I think it's really worth the price. I think in the future I will compare it to another lower priced microphone and see how it performs in comparison to other budget mics. But for now, I think 
we could hear enough to evaluate if it's actually a good product or not. And for me, it gets a thumbs up. I will be using it in the future. So much for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I really would appreciate if you do so. And you can follow up with the upcoming videos, the upcoming reviews and whatever we will do on this channel. Until then, see you around. Bye.